All right, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you happen to be. Welcome to Jay's Live. He's decided to cut his tongue out, so he can't talk much at the moment. <laughs> yeah, the cat got his tongue. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't, I swear, I didn't steal it. <laughs> oh, I reckon you did. No, it was not me. Right, that's it, Jade. Leave it at that. Now, what you've got to do is put a little lip from the tail stock end across to the thing. If you like, you can get your parting tool and come in about uh, 15 mil from the tail stock end and just put a line in about four or five mil deep. Yeah, there. Now, do you remember the shape of what you were looking at the other day? Yeah. Right. So you've sort of got a round over that shoulder from where you started cutting up the in the square bit there. Round that down and you form a curve in it now. Down here. Is there? Yeah. Is that why it went quiet? <laughs> well, we were letting uh, Robo uh, uh, instruct you, give you pointers and stuff like that, so we didn't want to interrupt. Uh, Eva left, so I had to let her back in. <laughs> I said that's why it went quiet. Uh, oh. oh, I think she's still in there. <laughs> yeah. I'm back. I'm Oops, back, eh? thank you. But it, everything froze. Ah. Okay. That's what, what's the problem. Did you say come in from here, Robo? Yeah? Or down here? No, no, you've got to come back. Basically, what you've got to do is divide it into one-thirds, right? So, it's uh, 170 mil long. <coughs> uh, good day, Lewis. How are you going, Lewis? Hi, Lewis. So... Your bottom third is where you just take the edge off a little bit and then you start your round over down and the bottom of your curve at the top is the second third up. <laughs> it still didn't explain to me where I've got to start though. <laughs> All right, just hold on a second. I haven't had my notepad here. I know what the picture looks like, but it's, it's hard to... Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll take you through but step by step first. Uh, <laughs> right. Hang on a sec. Get, get your black tags to colour again. Now, this, this is your bottom down here, right, with your tenon. Yeah. So, measure the length of it. <laughs> then divide it into one-thirds. Now, I think it was 170 mil long, wasn't it? The bit of timber. 105. 
From there to there, how long is it? Yeah. 175. Right, okay. So 50 millimetres will be close enough. Just come a fraction over the 50 millimetres. So mark 50 millimetres up there, 100 millimetres there. Now, yeah, this part mark. here, right, okay. Yeah. Now, this is the shape. So you're rounding over from there. You just take these corners off on that. Then you come down here. And there's where the bottom of your... It's hard to do this on the camera. There's the yeah. bottom of your curve there. Down yeah, in there. Right. And then you, then you have that little lip on the top there. All right. Okay. Oh, I'll get you there. All right, yep, all right. So you mean there's there's the fifty, there's the hundred. See you later, Lewis. See you later. See you later, Lewis. Don't undercut from the square, come straight in. Otherwise, you're going to ruin the whole shape. You tend to dig it in first and then start the cut instead of just following through over the top. Monkey girl's got to go to bed. Uh, good night, monkey girl. Good night. Jay, start about halfway up that and start your cut there, not right at the top. See how you've undercut the top now? Uh, uh, yeah, practice one. Leave it, that'll still be okay, but come halfway down. Towards the tail stock and yep. start cutting, yeah, start yeah. hollowing it out into a big cove. Uh, what did you say before, Jamison? She said good night. She wanted to make good sure night. that you guys heard that. Oh, okay. Good night. <laughs> Cheers, you. Hello, everybody. I'm back. Oh, good. Do you miss me? We miss you. Yeah, it was a little quiet in here. <laughs> always, Eva. Always. Oh, you always answer the goodest answers, Robert, don't you? Well, I said it. 
Just come out to the potting tool, Warren. Ooh, who's coming up our key? I don't know which one you're talking about. Is that you, it's Monkey? No. Are no, you having part. someone having feedback from the uh, YouTube? No, I got the TV on. I kind of hurt myself. Yeah, still do. Louis, he went out again, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's only in for a minute. Yeah. No, don't undercut up there, Jay. Keep right away from there. Just listen to Robbo now. You're muted, Jay, so we don't hear you when you speak back. No, he, he uses sign language when that happens. <laughs> we were promised snow tomorrow, but I don't think that's going to be because it's too hot. You can't have snow when it's six plus outside. No, right, right now we just got mud. We had snow, we don't... about two inches of it. And it's melting, yep. everything is mud. We don't even have that. I, I even long for the slush. Well, it doesn't bother me because I'm not going out anyway. So in that sense, but when it's so dark at the sea now, this is the peak of the darkness. Jai, just, dark. have a, just have a look at your monitor for a minute. That's the shape you're after. Now, what you're doing is cutting down. You're cutting down in here. Uh, sorry, in here. And you, you're going to end up with this if you're not careful. You're going to join the funnel club. Instead of it being a nice flowing shape, it's just going to have a sharp edge. Okay. Yep. <laughs> just yep. imagine you're doing a big bead. Yeah. Yeah, great. Yeah. Good example. <laughs> Very good oh, drawings. This this is my spare piece, all right. This is my practice piece. I got another piece back there, all right. <laughs> it's a nice, you have a nice crack in that. Yeah, I got lots of cracks in this. Even look. Oh dear. It looks like Time an for some glue in. No, red red gum always cracks like that generally, and it, then they generally don't go right through, so you're pretty safe. <laughs> now that chisel should be trained, guy. Should be trained. Yeah. Right, just switch it the light. Lost, just switch the light off for a minute. It lost its training when you drove off. Right. Now put, your, put your finger on on the block. See that? Right. Yeah, right. That finger there, start your curve from there, right? So start your chisel flat on its back with the flute completely open. Roll it towards the right until you get down to... Move your finger down towards the tail. So down to there. And then you start bringing it back flat again. So you take that section out. No, 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 
no, no, no, no, no, no. You're going the wrong way. <laughs> oh, you're, look. Un you're undercutting it. Oh, well, I don't like that. Can't help it now. I'm making a no, whole table. It can still be resurrected. So. All right. I'll, finish I'll, off I'll, the, I'll post it to your house, all right? Finish okay. off the deck. If you want to do that, I take it. So don't continue and do that then, huh? <laughs> no, right. Get into the habit of facing the cutting edge the way you... Face the blade the way you cut it. Yeah, I, I at, do at do that. What do you think? I have been doing moment, that. You're trailing, trailing the cutting edge behind the handle. Uh, right there, like that. Yeah. Right. Now, see? Oh, I've got to get the bloody thing in there, don't I? <laughs> oh, you do, you twist it around again and get it. Oh, Slide the tool along, don't just pivot it. <laughs> I didn't I didn't tell you that that chisel also has a latch in the handle that's trained to my voice. It's voice activated. Hit him, <laughs> hit him. <laughs> Oh, oh, that hurts, man! Stop it! Right now, now leave it like that, and see where you see where you <laughs> come up. Just round that corn that corner over. Now, now round it over like a bead. No, start up further, up higher, up towards the headstock, and just take a little bit off it. Take the peak off it. Keep going. I was just looking. Keep going. Stupid Right, that's starting to look better. Right now, right. move up, to, yeah. move up to the top, the square section. Yeah. And you're going to do exactly the same thing on that sharp corner where you've undercut it. So you're just going to take a slight slice off the square bit in a parallel line and then when you hit that section you're going to blend it into the bead that you've got there, alright? No, up on the square section. Yeah, that's nasty, that is. Face the chisel the way you want it to cut. <laughs> Just stop the lathe a minute. Give me a look. 
speed, I want to see it. Yeah, right. Now, next thing you're going to do is take it up a speed. Are you sure there's no nails and stuff in there? No, we've already right. found one. We've took that out this morning. Oh, that's good. So the the two pieces of uh, posts that I've got, they were originally one piece either, and uh, I parted that this morning on the lathe and just didn't do a live. It looks like it could be some sort of chalice, doesn't it? Yeah. No, it's going to be a weed pot. It's going to be the, 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 oh, what's it called again? Oh, continue. I have to think for a long time now. <laughs> oh, what's it called again? Damn it. I can say damn it, can I? Can't I? That's yeah, not damn it's all right. And darn, that's not too bad either, isn't it? That, that's kind of a false swear word, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Just tighten your tail stock, Jay, and... Uh... Or check your tail stock to make sure it's tight. The Good Holy done. Graal. That's what I was after. The Holy Graal. Are you talking about... Yeah, he, he you just need a bigger uh, foot on it. Uh, well, there is a Holy Graal, though. But you can you can add a bigger foot later in another wood. <laughs> Actually, but but if you continue making that like a big big uh, yeah chalice kind of looking stuff, that that it will be the holy grail. I can see it in front of me, and then you just have to put jewels on it, and it's done. Right? Have you checked the tile stock? Right? Yes. Right. Did you loosen the lock to make sure that you're actually tightening the quill and not just tightening against the lock? It is like, what are you on about? Oh, okay, right here. Right. <laughs> now, just step aside and check the speed. You want any zipper? No. Zipper. Check. I reckon, I reckon, go. I didn't even bother. I seen it pop up and I figured I didn't need to get up anyway. It was just easier. I reckon it needs to go up one more, right? Yeah. Uh, he's put himself on mute. Yeah, it's funny. I can't see whether people are muted or not actually on the... No. Because I, I turned the names off. Oh, right. You can see more of people's screens then, you see. Like, uh, Jamison was doing something yesterday and I couldn't see it all because of the his name at the bottom. That was the only thing that was stopping me from seeing it. So yeah. I moved them. <laughs> I got rid yeah, of them. okay. We start to be known to people now, so... And when you got that done, just step aside and try to try it again, all right? Right. That's looking better. Okay. Now across the square section there. Just take a very light cut to take the corners off, all right? The full length down to the headstock. No. You've got to take a light cut off the square corners. Oh, yeah. All the way down. Yeah, right along there. That's it. So it's machine gun time. Yep. <laughs> Machinga. 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 I'm like sure it's parallel, guy. Okay? No. I heard you. Smarty pants. No. I don't have pants on. I have shorts. Oh, 
Robin is cracked badly there now. It's like a shadow. Right. Whoa, that's come loose. Yeah. Whoa, where's the music coming from? Can someone turn that off, please? Because they're going to get me a copyright strike. Oh, even I saw that it looked strange there. Okay, take it out. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah. It could have exploded in your face. Yeah, it could have. But the chuck's holding it, so I think that's the only reason it did it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, but that fuse could have come off the end there and got you too. Well, it does go right through the tenon. Yeah, I'll be back. <laughs> Glue it together, it'll add to the character. Just put some CA glue in there, it'll it'll close it up. Uh, I'd, what I would I would glue it back together, but I'd use wood. How clean is the joint down there? It's not watermarked, is it? Yeah, that's fine. All right, just get some wood glue, Jay, and give a good dose of that. And then clamp it back together. Now, if that one's like that, the other one's going to be the same, I reckon. Yeah. Have that been been some kind of house construction actually, or something? Uh, yeah, yeah, no. Nah, this one's actually not as bad. It's got a split there, but that split actually doesn't carry through like the other one. See there. Can you glue it before you start to to make it stronger, perhaps? Nice beams. They, they have been once once upon a time. Um, farm fen farm fencing. Yeah, that's what my first thought, and then I changed it to house beams. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I'd I'd probably drop CA into that one, Joe. Yeah, all right, I'll, so, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll get paid in two days, so I'll go and buy some and then do it. Yeah. <coughs> well, it was, it was good it didn't turn any worse than it did, so it, it was... Look at the, the dust that leaves on it, it's quite, quite weird. Yeah. And it'll go black. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it almost looks like the uh, the red uh, termite mounds. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. It's got a lot of um, it's got a lot of tannin in it. So as soon oh, as it hits any, as soon as it hits any sweat, it just turns black. So that's why it's so good for fence polling then. So it doesn't rot so easy. Sorry, what was that? So they, that's why they use it for fence so much then, because it doesn't rot so easy. Uh, it still rots, but it takes a bit longer. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They used to use some special short pine for that up here, because it has it naturally in it. It doesn't rot as fast. Or oak, but then oak is really, really expensive for fencing with, so... Well, it depends if you have your own oak trees, of course. Well, but you don't want to chop down a 3,000-year-old oak tree because you want to make fences from, that, from it. Why not? Bloody destroy the environment, I reckon. Oh, Rubble, are you not a tree hugger? I'm so disappointed. Yeah. Oh, that was the other one you did. Yeah, the yeah. one I didn't see. I just, I just haven't um, finished sanding the bottom off there, but yeah. Yeah, but then uh, I'm not. No, uh, now I'm not going to know if I'm going to offend you or something. But it looks like a perfect dog bowl or something like that. Uh, um, is that offensive, Jay? Oh no, it was offensive. Yeah. I, he stopped Can talking. Can you see my face? No, I don't see your face. Shot. That's a good thing then. <laughs> <laughs> but it, but it it would be an absolutely beautiful dog bowl. But it's it's because I've seen dog bowls look like that. That's my reference. So that's why. I'm... Yeah. 
saying that. So, but of course, it could also be a very, very good uh, uh, potato chips platter. A two hundred dollar dog bowl, eh? Yeah, but only the 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 very expensive ones have them for the dogs, of course. It's yeah. not for for anyone who doesn't make money. I had to uh, I had to carve this side out with the Dremel because it was uh, it was slightly off center when I when I turned it, which made these it made these side this all these sides came out fine except for that one because that was the off center side. I, so I wouldn't have seen that. Yeah, you would have noticed it because the the, the hole here was half the length compared to the oh, rest of them. Okay. Yeah, so okay. it's yeah, even when smaller do, now. Yeah, when you put it like that, then I would have seen it. But yeah, hey, Jade. Yeah, just take a uh, coping saw and take the legs off. Oi. Or not off, but 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 open <laughs> up that side. Then they'd all yeah. be even. Yeah, and I've got the the Dremel with the, uh, a lot of cutting tools and stuff, so I was just using that. I love the Dremel. It's the fanta most fantastic little tool there is in the world. I have one with, with the snabel, I call it, because you have the machine and then you have the, right. the tube with the handle. What I was, what I, yeah. Sorry, what I was trying to point out was the fact that this is, this is redwood that's new, relatively new, and this is old redwood. So, uh, I wonder just, if they use that for looks, tanning up here. This looks so much um, darker red, this stuff, compared to this, for some reason. This is that a shine to it. But, you know, that's the difference. But could it be two, two uh, species of redwood? Two different species? No, it's the no same, doubt species. It. same species, but look, it's like all timber. You can get one okay. plank and you can get one plank and get different grain structure every foot it down it, so... And that's what oh, okay. that's what red gums like. I told you that Sweden have the world uh, oldest uh, pine tree, haven't I? Yeah. <laughs> I think that is so funny. I wouldn't expect that, actually, to be honest. Well, why do you think, do you think they would have cut it down? A few years ago, I got a piece of bog wood from Sweden, and uh, I haven't touched it, so I don't know what to do with it, because when I unwrapped it, it was a package, there was still a price tag on it, and it wasn't cheap, but it was certified as being several thousands of years old, carbon dated. I would stuff. imagine. Yeah, bog tree over here you can get that's very, very, very old. I mean, they found in Denmark a uh, uh, Stone Age guy in the bog somewhere. So, so yeah. Now it you looks look like your drinking pitcher broke and you taped it together. Yeah, doesn't it? It does. So I'll put a little bit of uh, shine on it there just to bring up a little bit of it's, the... Yeah, but the wood is actually very, very nice. Yeah, it is. It's almost drool-friendly. <laughs> if I can put it like that. <laughs> and you did. Uh, yeah, thank you. It felt good. <laughs> yeah, well, I have been down in the pit for over a week and a half, I think, so being utterly depressed so it was nice to laugh a bit again thank you jay all right don't don't you um don't you do that on john's live not always it depends but sometimes i can't handle the banter so it, it, the banter backfire with me so uh, and it's not meant to be evil but it just backfires so i can't handle it and then I yep. just should need not. Uh, then I just should go. I should not be there. It just gets wrong every if I'm staying. Fair enough. Put your foot so, in your mouth. Is that what you're trying to say? Plan, well, plan, plan B, Joe. What's that? Uh, 
the other side of the post. All right. Right, now, make sure that you put that bolt hole across a join, all right? Yeah. In the chuck. Robo, what's your next live going to be like? What are you going to do and when? Or is it next year? Uh, no, it'll probably be probably be between Christmas and New Year sometime. Um, well, I'll just have a look at the date. It'll probably be on the uh, on Boxing Day night, which is the Saturday. Uh, sorry. The twenty seventh. I was about um, to say, I was about to say for the Americans, they won't know what Boxing Day is. Well, that's right. Um, oh yeah, I know. The day after Christmas. That's it. Um, yep, yep. It'll probably be on the twenty seventh. And at present time, I have no idea what I'm thinking of doing. So. Somebody did make a suggestion about something. I can't remember what it was. <laughs> no bloody hell, is it? Oh, well, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so I've opened ideas. Well, dodgy brother's work isn't working anymore. <laughs> so, my our Christmas day will be your Christmas Christmas Eve. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do Christmas all... on twenty fourth. So I'm a day before everybody else. Then that's when we do Christmas. I'm, I'm going to do uh, a live, but I'm not going to do a turn. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not okay. going to. I can't turn when I'm drunk. So <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> I'm just going to do a live. Yeah. Just going to do a live and see how it goes, right? <laughs> yeah, but no sharp tools. Yeah, no, I'm going nowhere near the lathe other than in front of the camera. <laughs> well. You could do it inside your house and you'd have better internet. And your yes, lovely true. better half could be part of it. Oh no, she'd run. <laughs> Why? Nah. She comes out we, and we'd most, her work. We'd mostly play board games, to be honest. I, I like playing board games. So I think uh, like maybe Monopoly or something like that or Oh, those kind of games. Okay. Yeah. Like Connect Four and stuff like that, you know? <laughs> Connect Four is a good game to play when you're drunk. <laughs> Twister's Monopoly, Monopoly Twister's not, not so much. Drunk. Oh, yes. <laughs> Twister is a good right? co in one to do drunk. What one? Twister. Twister. Ah. <laughs> yep. Dr. Bob, you're awfully quiet. Your mic is. Who, me? Oh, Bob. Now, Jay, just yeah. check. There's a white spot on this side that's looking at me, and there's a hole yeah. just underneath it. Yep. Have you got a nail or something you can poke into that just to see if there's a nail down in there? Yeah. Down by the bird doodle. No, that's fine. No, right it, goes, it goes down as far as I bent them. Yeah, right out. The nail is already out then. Yeah. Well, hopefully there's another there one have, there as well. Yeah, there were three holes there. No, they're all right too. Right. Yeah, like that I piece said. looks a lot better. And now, let Robo guide you doing the angles correctly. Now, I shut up so they can talk. Right, first step, Jay, take a light cut all the way along the square, right? Yeah. 
you got a long tool rest now, so you can do it. Oh no, I'm getting dobbed right in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to put the Harbor Freight one back in the closet until you do small bulls. <laughs> Is that a Christmas present from an admirer? Yeah, it is. No, <laughs> I wouldn't say that much, but... <laughs> I don't know about an admirer, Bob. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't go that far, hey. A critic? It was the secret he might, Santa. He might oh. hear you, Dr. Bob. I'm going to get the secret Santa parcel. No, uh, no. From the banana if boy. If it was from Robo... He'd have it remotely controlled to give you a jolt of electricity when you do something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all know about the house. Hey, don't, don't give him ideas, bloody hell. What, what do you think that's for? <laughs> <laughs> the remote control. <laughs> like those remote shocker collars. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, so I'm going to get the secret parcel from Belgium. I so hoped it would be chocolate in it. I, I would love some Belgium chocolate. Oh, la, la. Right, oh, yeah, just yeah. Check, check your tail stock again, Joe, please. After it's run. I should have dropped a hint that I would like some. Damn it, why didn't I do that? Yeah, you're a bit slow. Yeah. It's just, here it's just so expensive. It's all by the piece. But not in Belgium. No. But it's uh, it's come out of the chuck, so. The chocolate? No, the what? piece of wood's come out of the chuck. How the hell did it do that? I don't know. So that, that's why I turned the lathe off to begin with, because it, the tailstock felt weird. So. Oh, yeah. Good sense, Jay. So, how do we have any early bird watchers today? Then there are very little going on in the chat. Depends. Depends how many of you are in the YouTube because it says three. But if there's two of you in there, <laughs> I guess all of them are us. I have it up muted. I so want to smoke when I see your rubble. Damn it. And now well, it's... Don't watch I, me then, either. <laughs> I haven't smoked since, is it 2014 or 2015? I, I don't know, I wasn't there. No, <laughs> you weren't here then. I think it was 14, so it's six years. Well, in today's world, you kind of have to clarify when you say smoke, at least in some cultures. Well, over here, we only smoke cigarettes. That you know of. Oh, no, no, no pipes, no cigars. Yeah, well, of course, it's tobacco. Okay. And then in, in all the ways you can smoke tobacco, of course. To put Then it's easier. My granddad smoked uh, with a pipe, and uh, uh, it's like child memory all over the face when, you, uh, when you're smelling that tobacco. Yeah, it's like uh, it'll give you it'll give you cancer. We'll make it legal. Yeah. Well, you get, you can get cancer from eating a cucumber if you're unlucky. So <laughs> it, it's not always about what you put in your body. It's also what depends, what you have in your genes. How much chocolate you put in the cucumber? Isn't it? Yeah, but but it, oh, it's more or less about your genes. Some people can drink and do drugs and smoke and forever and ever. We have a good example. It's the guy in Rolling Stones. I mean, he he done most of it, and he's yeah. still alive, kicking. Keith Richard, isn't it called that? Yeah. Yeah, he, he was. Uh... Charlie Watts was the oarsman on the ark, I think. Yeah, and I mean, if he 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 didn't get cancer, as far as we know, because he doesn't have the genes for it. So if you have it in the genes, you get cancer from a cucumber. Now, it's not. Um, that looked good. 
Yeah. How's it looking now, Joe? Much more stable. Right here. I maybe oh, consider standing in front of it now. Right. <laughs> you need to have a safe uh, vest on, like a police safe car vest. On, I, I need a um, like a what the um the knights used to wear, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Buddy. yeah. Yeah. Well, chain, it's got, the, the wood's got the wood's got nowhere to go but either at me or through my shed. I think one of these pieces, I think that would just launch straight through my shirt and give me a skylight. <laughs> <laughs> but that's nice. You get light in the shed. <laughs> yeah, not like that, though, eh? No, of course not. <laughs> it give access for more birds to nest in your shed. The bird already left a dropping on it, so... Do you hear it even make wind sounds when it turns the lathe on? <laughs> on the camera. So what you got to do now is to make it a bit round, and then you start to do the shape. That's impossible in this house. Make things straight. <laughs> straight? That's a swear word. Yeah. I wonder if my Midnight Joker might turn up here soon. Uh, he usually uh, up and about at this hour. Isn't he? Yeah, I'm right. Just take it. Yeah, just take it down a fraction more until you get that last one. It, with the, with what you're making, it doesn't matter. All right. Yeah. Because those posts aren't exactly square anyway. You're noisy today. Yeah. Right, that'll do. That's good enough. Right here. Yeah. Now, start forming a bead from the tailstock end, all right? Right, now see if you can flatten the bead out by coming back about half an inch or so from the way you started on that one before you start rolling it over again so you get a flatter curve. No, you're still oh. undercutting it. Oh. Start with the chisels flat on its back, flute completely open. And then start rolling around when you're going about a quarter. Of 
No, you're still getting it undercut. Keep going. Don't roll, don't dig it in so quick. Just let, him, let the tool cut. Uh, it's getting better. You're still getting it. You can see the slight vertical piece just where you're starting to cut. That's what you don't want. Imagine you're tracing a, a curve with a pencil, only the pencil is your chisel. See how you've undercut that again? Because you're not bringing the handle around towards yourself. And twisting the tool at the same time. Right, no, just come, go right to the end. Yeah. Right to the tail stock. Now just yeah. try putting, putting a half bead on there, all right? We've got to get that chisel action right or you're going to muck up the whole thing. Now you're slowly starting to get it. All you've got to do now is just roll the chisel a little bit more and so you get a curve in it, not a straight line. Well, right, that's looking better. Right, keep going. When you get down towards the end, you've got to move further, Jay. That chisel should be almost at 45 degrees to the timber when you finish the cut. Yeah, that's it. Stand out of the way, get yourself unbalanced there. And then transfer your weight onto your right foot. Slowly, 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 right, now start moving around. Oh, we're almost getting a curve into it. You're just moving a little, you're moving too quick in the centre. Right, stop cutting there. Stop there. Now come back a bit more on the round bit. Cut. Slow down the depth of cut. Take it too much out of the time. Now start bringing the chisel handle around towards you. Very slowly and lifting the handle at the same time. And twisting the tool at the same time. That'll do, leave it there. Now if you practice your beads and coves, you, this would be easy. Yeah, that's what I did yesterday. I wanted to get out and do, do something, but just do something. Just aim, aim the cutting edge towards the end. Don't, don't undercut that too much down there, the tail stock, or we won't have enough to form the little lip. But that's that's starting to look a lot better.
Don't come in so sharply up there. Just come in gradually. You're not trying to cut it down. Remember, you've got to leave a square section on it. So just flatten it out. Now start just gently coming around the corner and twist, lift and move the handle towards you. Right. Okay, stop the cut there. Don't don't undercut that anymore. You don't want to go down under the level of the tile stock, all right? Yep. This is real turning, Joe. What are the other things he tried to turn in? Fake turning? No, that's pole turning and pen turning. They don't count. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's uh, that's where the white guy said that I am. I'm not a scroll star because I don't use a lot of spiral blades and do big billboards. Yeah. Right out. Keep keep going, Jay. Just keep working back a bit. But remember, keep the keep, keep the square bit fairly square until you start getting the, around into the curve. All right. You're undercutting it again. You know, this is where I use a skew chisel. <laughs> well, red gum, doesn't like skew, red gum doesn't like a skew chisel too much. Oh. Not on I something this big. Like a scraper to, to make sure it's, it's round to the eye. Because I'm not cutting, I'm just kind of taking a little off. Right, I've made a dime to catch his lighter. So yeah. <laughs> there you go. It looks like you got a nice finish on it from the cut. Uh, yeah, no, the finish is getting good on it, but <laughs> Yeah, I'm frustrated now. Right, what are, I've got I've still got one lathe inside. What I might do is set up a camera on it for you, Joe, and show you tomorrow. It, it so, has a very nice flavor, not flavor, flower shape at the moment. Yeah, it's got some nice grain, isn't it? Oh, yeah. 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 Red gum generally Red does. Gum, but... I, feel, I look like I've been working in the dirt. Yeah, you grotty little bugger. Yeah. It's like you've been doing something. Oh, no, I mean, don't tell Amber. Don't tell Amber, Dr. Bob, all right? <laughs> well, you haven't seen me stain the leather yet, so. And then I get my, when my hand looks <laughs> oh, brown after using stained, a brown dye. Stained and in leather. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but That's, when you yeah, use, she walked right into that one. That that's that's all right. I'd I had to give a, a talk at our rotary meeting once and I just spent five days staining tabletops and cabinets and things. Oh dear. And it was in walnut, so you can imagine what my hands look like. And I can't stain with gloves on. Anyway, yep. I had to wear I turned up I put white cotton gloves on to talk. And of course one of the blokes said how come you're wearing gloves, Robo? And I said, well, I said, you really don't want to see my hands, you know? And I said, why not? I said, oh, well, I'll show you. So I took the gloves off and I went, <gasps> I yeah, said, if you didn't know what I'd been doing. beautiful. If you didn't know what I'd been doing, you'd have been horrified, so. No, Robo, you got to tell the story right. You were in. You were in your shop giving yourself a spray tan and it bleached all over your hands. So then you, instead of looking like white back or white uh, fingers and orange back, you put white gloves on to cover them up. You got to tell That's it right, right. Robo. 
this is some um some fine slithers i took off of that uh the block that i made the four-legged bowl out of it's really so, really nice wood i'm gonna keep them for um when i do when i do a segment bowl i can put them in between some nice red in between the white yeah mm -hmm. wouldn't that wood be great for shingles also uh no it'll probably be a bit brittle. Much, actually or it's preferred to have these special pine trees for that. No, they they used to make shingles out of um, what's called Tasmanian oak and uh, Vic ash here, which is very straight grained when you split it. Yeah, yeah, of course it has to be that. Yeah. But we get so hard pine wood up here because we have so small or tight yearings. But no, I've been known to have to wash my hands in Domestos or something like that, you know, the really heavy toilet cleaner. Does the skin yeah. real good. <laughs> I saw when I was a kid, my neighbor used to refinish antique furniture and uh, we started off with the stripper and of course the stuff that he used and we didn't wear gloves, glasses, no PPE. Yeah. Stuff he used, man, that stuff would burn your hand, something fierce. But then when it comes time to do the varnish and the stains and everything, and my hands will be all stained up, he goes, ah, oh, come over here. We'll wash our hands with the gasoline. It's like, okay. Yep. Well, I did. <laughs> well, I was like, oh, man, you went and did staining today, didn't you? I was like, yep. When I was a, an apprentice or as a mechanic, we used to wash, frequently wash our hands in kerosene or petrol. Gasoline to you Americans. Right, yeah. same thing did too when i was a kid the worst the worst one was we were at holidays once and they were re-bitumining a road now and in, in the old days of course they used to use tar barrels like 44 gallon drums full of bitumen and they would melt the bitumen and then mix it with the stones on the road we played around in these empty tar barrels and got covered in tar our clothes all of us our hair was matted in it so we get back to where we were staying with friends and there were six of us kids all together playing around three of us and three other of the neighbors kids the old man and uh bob looked at each other and said oh well we're gonna have to teach them the hard way not to play in these things we thought oh this is good so they had, yeah, a, just... bathtub. They had a bathtub in the back yard with a half filled with kerosene Right, get in. I tell you what, kerosene burns in the wrong holes, I tell you. <laughs> but it got, it got the bitumen off. And we never played in it again, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> At least they didn't throw you out of the chicken coop. Yeah, well, that's true. <laughs> then you would have been tarred and feathered. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> That's all right. When I was uh, working on aviation, uh, we had an aircraft, a C-130 come back, had external fuel tanks on it, and they went and took samples out of all the fuel tanks to see if there's any water or, or trash in the fuel system. Yep. And one of the, the poppet valves on the external tank, it got stuck open, so fuel was just going everywhere. And I was new. I was just straight out of school. And dummy me thought I was going to stick my finger and hold 9,000 pounds of fuel up with just my oh, finger. Yeah, it yeah. was all down my side, all the way down to my toes. Yeah, and it hurts like hell when it gets into into your armpits, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> I went in, I took a shower. The problem was is that uh, my drawers were still wet and, and uh, I didn't change them. So I had a big old blister on my head. It hurt for days. Uh, the things we do when we're silly and young. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there in Thailand, uh, Southeast Asia period, they always, when you went into a restaurant to eat, they'd have oil with and a little cup of oil and a little cup of vinegar, and they'd put peppers in them. 
and the object was that you take your spoon and you put it on your food, the pepper, because it's got the oil and all mixed with it. But as a newbie, it was, oh, you're supposed to eat the pepper. And then people say, well, I'll give it $10. I'll make it 15 Before you know it, there's $20 on the table to eat a pepper. So like an idiot, I fell for it, just like everyone that I pulled it on so, afterwards. But I'll tell you, it burned going in. And, of course, the guy running the restaurant, he was mad at everybody for doing it at the table and yelling at us and Ty and carrying out this big, big glass of milk and drink, drink, drink. Got to drink milk, drink. Goat's milk, but still it was milk. But you got to put milk to neutralize the acid from the from it for your stomach. And finally, I thought, well, my mouth still burned a bit. I think I've lost that enough. But what was worse is when it decided to leave the system. <laughs> oh. I only, I only ever went in a couple of C-130s, the old Hercs, uh, being transported around in various places. But one of the jobs that we were doing was, um, I'd, it was a, a cargo drop over mm. the thing. And of course, they slide them down on the wheels and everything. And the, the blokes doing it, they had two new trainees on board. And Joe, you might have to put me on full screen for this one, if you don't mind. Yeah, I do. Sorry. So anyway, of course, they've all got restraining straps on to stop them from stepping out the back when they push the the cargo out. And when he came back up, the, the leading hand got the lead and he folded it into three like this and held it like that. And when the bloke... And they always look out the back to make sure the cargo's cleared the, the back door. And when this bloke leaned out, leaned out, they let it go. I've never seen a bloke so panicked, and there were nearly bloody fingernail marks down the side of the aircraft where we were trying to get <laughs> <out> the ticket. <laughs> oh. Bastards. And we were transported in planes a lot, and uh, one day we are about oh, 15,000 feet up, the pilot and the co-pilot come out. We had a couple more trainees on board. And uh, they're wheeling out this bit of string down each side of the cabin, you know. And I said to the trainees, hey, hold that, hold that. And I was sitting on opposite side of the aircraft. And they said, what's this for? Oh, we're going down for coffee. Now, if the plane goes to the right, you blokes on the left have to pull hard on the string. If it goes to the left, you've got to pull hard on the right. <laughs> oh. these folks, God, they shit themselves, I tell you. <laughs> I'll tell you what else is uh, crazy that we used to do uh, when we would take the, the grunts on, on board is there's a uh, hand pump in the back, a hydraulic hand pump that you can manually operate the, the back cargo doors, open and close them and all that stuff. And uh, the flight guys, they'd be on the, their headsets and they'd be in talking with the, the pilot and then all of a sudden they'd freak out and they'd go over there and start jerking on the handle, start pumping it up and pumping it up. And the guys sitting in their seats, their eyes get all big, like, what are you doing? Well, if I don't stop pumping it, we're going we're gonna to crash. And, of course, that everybody's flipping out. So every time they'd stop, the pilots would lower altitude. And then they start pumping again. The pilots would raise back that. <laughs> Funny as darn thing. Yes. What did I miss now? Yeah, they oh, pulled down on me when, they, jokes. when I flew, the C1, flew in a C-130, a whole gang of us, probably about 35, 40, to go to Ramstein, Germany. Oh, no, the rest. We were so yeah. gullible. <laughs> oh yeah. Come up nice that one. Oh, oh that, is, that's, that is pretty. Yeah, it'll 
look a lot better when it's completely done. Yeah, I but, just wanted to see what it was going to look like. Yeah, no, that'll that'll come up very nice. Yeah, it looks like a <clears throat> looks like a plunger on the end. <laughs> plunger. Oh, plunger. Thanks. thanks. Now I'm going to see that forever now. <laughs> well, actually, at the How moment, it looks like the plunger. No, it looks like a it looks like a boob at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, female. That looks like one of those opera ones. <laughs> those armored boobs. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, she just no. herself after Robo said boob. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that's my new camera. I was just testing it. It has legs of its own. Oh. What is a walk that's around the table? Not legs, does it? Oh my. <laughs> it, it has like a tripod. Oh, hello. Yeah. Is that your new headset too? No, no, that's not the new headset. That's uh, it's a uh, um. Oops. Much well, clearer. Is it better? There oh, you go, Robo. Cool. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's yeah, it is. Not... Yeah, the colors stand out much better. What colors? Oh, I can have it stand there. Yeah. Oh yeah, all well, the see all the the, the painting and everything you've got in the background, you couldn't really distinguish the colours, but now you kind of can see the red cross in it. Yeah. So, yeah, no, it's a much better camera, that's for sure. Yeah, that's the one I, I got from. Uh, yeah, you could probably see a lot of a lot of stuff. A bit. I have a cat. Yep. That, there came. Someone sitting in the armchair back there. What the armchair? No, nobody here. It's just me. On the next, there you the next can see. No, you got it yeah. too low now, Eva. We're looking right up your nose. Yeah, <laughs> I know. You love it. That's the they paint the roof with the wrong color in there, so you can see. They're really big nostrils, right? Yeah, really big nostrils. Yeah. I have wow. I have very good oh, finished look. nostrils. They have really good. Wow, look at them. You know? Yeah, look at all the boogers in them too. Do you no boogers. No, no, no boogers are staying in that nose. Oh. Jefferson, look at that. <laughs> that's, that's a really good nose. I need to yeah. rearrange some bit, things here. Bit, oh, it's a bit like Shrek's nose. Yeah, well, maybe I am a, 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 a Shrek. I was only trying my luck to see what reaction I'd get, you know. <laughs> oh, I'm not listening too well, you know. This is my little... Um, there you go. That's a little there sharpening stone. Good. And there we have go. that man. He wanted to be up here for so long. I have to... What did you say with the messy desk, Robo? <laughs> Do you top this? Is there a and I have a cat on top Is of it all. That's my... That's my... If there's a... Here's my scalpel set. Now you're broken. 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 too much stuff here. It, it's it's fr freezing at the moment, Eva. Yeah. Right. Broke the internet, Eva. Oh, it's good. All good. <laughs> yeah, the internet can't handle me. That's for sure. Oh. Can you change the light bulb all the way so up there? Can we have it here now? <laughs> Why can't you stand here, you? So too totally much stuff on the desk, probably. No, I'm not Call trying to set oh. Hey, Robbo. Uh, mm -hmm. have, you, have you seen that on the um, on Facebook and stuff? There's that guy that gets out in the in his underwear and and plays music to the to the neighbourhood when we're, when they're in lockdown. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he just lives around the corner from me. Like, I could oh, just walk mean. around there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I seen him setting his speakers. Now my father-in-law goes, yeah, he just lives around the corner from you. And I was like, what, really? So we went out and look, and he was setting up his speakers again yesterday. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why are you <laughs> nah. He's been done for indecent exposure before, so I might stay away from him. <laughs> <laughs> just watch him on the internet. <laughs> Kitty cat, you are really not sitting in a good spot. Huh? Is it your kisses? You haven't got your kisses. Is that the problem? 
Huh? I, I must, I must admit, I thought that was, I thought that was a brilliant idea in Italy, where you know at five o'clock they'd all get out on their balconies and sing and carry on. I thought that was pretty cool. Yes. <coughs> Got some scratches here. That's a, There's a guy down in, uh, you know, in New Orleans that every night at d dusk he'd stand out on his balcony and play a trumpet to play taps. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, he just recently, within I think the last year or two, passed away. If I read it, read it right. No, and uh, it's the same here in lockdown. Show them you. We, we've actually met neighbours that we never even knew existed. By, by neighbours, I mean people in the town, because they're all out walking their dogs locally. They used to go up into Cranbourne or twenty kilometres away to take their dogs for exercise. You know. I'm sorry, I just had to kiss the cat a little bit. Am I making up or what? Okay, let's put you on the back. Now, Eva, I have to ask, and I, if you don't want to answer this, feel free. But yeah. What's the significance of the religious picture in the background there? Uh, it uh, was back in the day when we had the first female uh, priest, or uh, not priest, but uh, oh, it's higher up in the in the ranks. Oh, yeah, yeah and, and that's the one with the white on. That's her, and the other ones are the discussion the, the male priest had before because she, she they didn't want it. So it's a picture of three, and it's all about that when she came to the first job there as the female, whatever they are called. Yeah, I think they're so called priests, aren't they? <laughs> well, there there are higher ranks than priests. You 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 get the higher rank than that. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, maybe that's yeah yeah. Thank you. Bishops, cardinals. Cardinals so he likes. Red. They look red. Yeah, cardinals are red. Now, uh, Coke, cape, whatever is red. Oh no, th that that isn't that Catholicism. We are Protestants over here, so. Oh yeah, you probably wouldn't. Though it depends. They some of them like in yeah. the Methodist Church here. Uh, they have a red scarf they'll wear or something like that. Yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah, not not here. E even Danish priests have a very big color on with with a lot of frustles on, whatever you call it. They have a very, like they have in the Middle Ages or something right. from paintings back there. But we don't have that, so they look ridiculous. We think, but but they used to that, so <laughs> it's okay, I guess. So, and our priests just have either the white stuff like that or with the two <coughs> bum. So my cat is lying here on his back, leaning towards me, and he just loves to have his belly rubs. Oh, yeah, don't all cats. I no. Admit, I, don't, I don't mind having mine rubbed occasionally, either. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> So this is uh, well. He he need to have his fix of his uh, rubs. Don't you? So he he tried to jump the desk until he gets them, and he gets very sad when I send him him down again. But sometimes it's just no place for a cat here. Yeah, I I, I must admit I'd love to have a dog. We live on half an acre, and um, we've got no fences. And out onto the main, major highway, and I don't have the patience or the time anymore to train a dog not to go past it, the boundary line. So, uh, plus I'm away a fair bit too. So, it'd be good company to have a dog with me, but common sense has to really kick in. Yeah, that's true. You don't want to have... That's why I can't let my cats out here because I live in the middle of the city, so that's yeah. impossible. And I, don't, I, so. I don't like chaining dogs up except working dogs. That's a different kettle of fish, but... Yeah. 
Well, the electronic fences seem to work well. Sorry? Just bury it. An electronic fence. You simply bury a wire, and then you put a collar on them. And oh, when yeah. they get close to it, they get a shock, and they won't go any farther. No, my other dog, I could draw a line in the sand and say, right, now you don't cross this. And he just, she, just wouldn't go anywhere near it. It's so. interesting because my cats are a bit funny or how I shall put it. Because I, I could put like a handkerchief, not a handkerchief, uh, uh, the one you dry yourself with after a towel. Shower. Yes, a towel, a small towel. And I put it on the sofa in the corner. And the cats were actually going to lie on that. So the, all the hair and all the, yeah, from the cats got in that corner on that ha um, towel. So I, I didn't even have to train them. They just did it by themselves. Well, and they still feels, do. Feel Probably feels better than the leather on a couch or something. I don't have a leather couch. You can't have that when you have cats. Oh, well, whatever. Because <laughs> you don't have a very nice leather couch after a while. I don't want to risk it. I prefer they, they claw up a, a fabric one. Well, they have destroyed the one we have here now. So, But then if, if you notice when the cats are trying to claw somewhere, if you put the scratching board nearby it, they would go there, hopefully, most of the time. We, friends of ours have got two cats. They're dags and things. But anyway... um. I built this bloody scratch and post and all these fancy things for it where the cats could sit up and look out over things and this and that. Cats would still rather scratch everything else but the scratch and post. <laughs> I, I even have a tree for my cat. So they go. Now I, I actually have a piece of a towel here, an old towel, and now he's actually trying to lie down on it here, but... I think he also wants to have some treats or better food or something right now. That's why he's so clingy in here. But he's a nice big cat. And he's not as fat as he might look because he has a lot of, lot of skin. You can kind of take a hold of his belly and do like that and it's all skin. <laughs> Oh, Blair. Hi, Mom, Blair. Hi, guys. Hi, Blair. Sorry, I, oh, Blair. Sorry I didn't jump in earlier. I actually was in a Zoom meeting with some family, and so... Um, I don't know if point. I forgive you. <laughs> Eva, please. Okay, then. Okay, so, then. You're forgiven. Stop poking me. Because it was family, you're, you're forgiven. You have, to, you have to send a Bel Belgian chocolates to get forgiveness. <laughs> That's true, Robo. Absolutely true. That means I would have to fly to Belgium. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I, but I sent the parcel to Belgium, too. How's Myself. everybody doing tonight? Uh, doing? Good. Well, since you got here, I think we do fine now. <laughs> Except we had a near disaster with Jay. Oh, uh, yeah? What happened? Jay, uh, what happened? Jay can explain it and show you. It was interesting. Oh, uh, I was having a really good time, and um, yeah, and then something happened. I just I started a new piece. And I've polished my wood. See, you didn't get to see me polish my wood. <laughs> it was broken yet wrong. <laughs> This oh. this is the first one. this is the first one that I started. Even I know it kind of got something a, went wrong with it. Kind it. Of, it kind of split, and it, it comes apart into two pieces now. So I want to get I want to get paid in two days. I'm going to go and buy some more um, super glue and and fill the bloody thing up with it. <laughs> yeah, no, that one you would use just ordinary wood glue on it, Joe. Oh, you just said you said CA before. No, put CA into the crack. Here, of this one. I have some. You can have some of mine. Here, I have some. See and something like that? Right? I, I'm not brave enough to glue up. I I would just call that firewood, or I'd cut it down and do something else. 
Yeah, no, no. it's a fairly it's a fairly clean break. So if you use wood glue on each side and clamp it up square, nobody will tell the difference. It needs to clamp hard though. So Eva, I haven't seen you in a long time. What you been doing? Oh, you don't want to go there anyway. So it's been a dark beast, uh, beast. So um, I've been down in the big dip. Of course, she bought herself a new camel, huh? Joy! Hello, Joy. <laughs> Monkey butt. <laughs> Monkey, oh, she's aiming at you, monkey butt. <laughs> Thank you, Joy. That was a very really good Joy. name. Yeah. Hey, Joy. Good to she see you, Joy. Merry Christmas one. and all of that. I want to do my painting again, Kitty Cat. Can you go down, please? Hello. You, you should incorporate the, the kitty paw with your painting and paint with its paw. I should probably. Monkey paw, like, of course. Like you can get painting. me to say a lot. Can you please go down? Please go down. Ah, you're so heavy. Thank you. Now I'm going to come with a horrible light. Oh, it actually works a little bit better with this camera. Now you look like a ghost. Because yeah. I am a ghost. Well, I, I'm going to continue with my little oh, itchy, itchy, itchy. So, am I going gold, silver, or am I going to use the book? And I'm so funny because I, I lost all my... I have this. These brushes are not for painting, actually. Painting your face. Yeah, this is makeup brushes. I don't care. I use them anyway. Because I sent off the brushes, and I should show them. They are absolutely useless. Never buy cheap shit. But I got something good with it. I got a piece of this with that package, so oh, that's nice. Proper artist, proper artist palette. Well, not really. It's really small. But it's nice to have when you're going to blend it with some water or something. I think I want to have both gold and silver on this. But anyway, so that's what I'm doing right now. But I need a really, really thin layer now. So I need to... Anyway, so that's what I'm doing. What are you guys doing now? Well, I'm sitting on my bum talking to Jay and all of you lot. <laughs> You're not kidding. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do for my live tomorrow. I still don't know. I may just grab a log and throw it on and say, hmm. Are you going to say, hmm, at the same time? Okay, so you're going to do a well, sound turning then. Yeah. Well, what you do is you say you're going to let the wood tell you what it wants to be. Did you say something before, Robert? What about? I don't know. I just thought I heard your voice. I thought I'd better stop and ask. No, no. I was, I was just saying I was sitting on my bum here talking to, that, talking to all of you lot because Eva asked what we were doing. Oh. Did I? No, it wasn't me. It was uh, Blair. We're waiting for you to turn Fine. something, Blair. Come on. <laughs> Not tonight. It's too cold. Look, I turn. Did you scream about the cold? Away, Blair. What, what's that, Jay? I said I turned for you while you were here. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> got any projects you want to show us? Bit of show and tell? No. Got nothing. Oh, far out, man. <laughs> far out. <laughs> well, it actually turned... Turned out quite nice. I don't know. The sad thing is, is the the cold keeps me out of the garage. I, I 
I get cold really easy and I can only stand it for so long and then I have to stop and go back in the house and then come back out. And, yeah. Yeah. But Blair, there is a solution for that. You got to get a little heater out there. Well, and that's the thing is I do. I have like a little heater that's maybe about that tall and oh. I, it's sitting on, on the bed of the lathe and ah, even with that thing, it just doesn't. No, you get a kerosene heater. You got a window you can crack once in a while for fresh air, or oh, if I knew what if torpedo pro propane torpedo torpedo heater. That's what I use. Green. I'm not gonna have any green. I don't have any green color here. <laughs> Thanks, Joy. She just called me a wuss. <laughs> I think Joy is in a good mood tonight. <laughs> That's all right. At least she didn't call you a monkey butt. True. Yeah, but she's so true. You are a monkey butt. <laughs> I even have to drills on the desk here, and I can know. And even here, this is what it looked like uh, before it was made, and now it looks like where did it go? It's too much stuff here. And this is what it looks like after being used for like 10 years. It's got character. It looks yep. like fish scale. <laughs> it is fish scales and not most people would say it is snake. But when they see the piece like this, they see it's not snake anymore. It's a piece it's of uh, bass from Nile. No, sorry, Joy, I don't have green. I'm not a green person. I'm a purple person. Oops, that was a bit too much. And how am I going to do this now? Am I going to use this one? Jay, if you had to pick a color to represent you, what color would it be? It would not do. Red? Purple. I'm a purple person. Red, red's my favorite color. I knew there was a reason why I liked you, Jay. Because <laughs> you're a red person too? Yeah, red. On the opposite end of the scale, I like blue or black. Black. Yeah. Good. There's we're too we're many stay together over here in this corner. Sorry, what was that? <laughs> no, no, we'll wrong. stay together over here in this corner, the blue and... and and black <laughs> corner. <laughs> Are you choking up trying to laugh, Jay, or something? Something happened to the light. Oh, sound. Uh, it's my internet. It's shit. How about you, Dr. Bob? What's your choice? Uh, well, oh, I like uh, a vibrant yellow. Yellow. Oh. That, that's a different in Sweden we don't like yellow because it's a part of the flag I don't know what I would have in the middle of this I should probably have some bright yellow or orange even are you, are you in a log cabin there Jamison yeah you like that yeah, yeah. I do that's wallpaper. Oh, that's pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. It looks like a Swedish log cabin. Yeah. That's wallpaper. <laughs> there's a, Be a grill, there's, show, right? there's a show on TV here, which is from America. Yeah. But they're the log cabin builders. Oh, and yeah. A, uh, oh, and another one called um, Barn. Barnwood Builders. Yeah. And yeah. man, the way they resurrect some of the buildings is just absolutely fantastic, I reckon. Oh, yeah. And the, the history that they talk about, you know, smoke and stuff like that, on. Ooh, what noise is that? Is it because I'm moving? Uh, no, I think it's Jay. Jay, what are you doing? You sanding that. <laughs> Pushing 
Jay, were you sanding those two halves or something, were you? Can't hear me. Oh. Or is he ignoring me? Oh, yeah, right. I oh, see. Yep, right here. Now I'm with it. That's cool. But it's just, per but it, I don't know what it is. I'm just doodling. That's a good doodle. They just to a bowl. I didn't. I didn't want to chance it on the uh, on the belt sander. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. Bravo! That beard of yours is getting longer. Yeah, oh yeah. How, no, how just, rude is this, right? Due for another. Uh, I brought. Not as long as, I brought as Amber as an orbital sander. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was an iron. <sighs> yeah, I know, right? I brought her an. I brought Amber an orbital sander, and um, I didn't actually pay attention to the to the shape. And then when she pulled it out of the box, I was like, "Oh shit! Sorry, I didn't mean it. To, I didn't make it. Didn't think it was going to look like an iron." <laughs> so, oops. <laughs> That's <laughs> what you're acting. It's got a dust collector on it, and it actually works really well. Hey, you'd be quite surprised. Yeah. It sucks up all the dust up through those holes there. Yeah, no, That's they're good nice. little sanders, those. Yeah. Then it's got a, um, it's got a, a bit here. You can pull this up here, and then it's got a, a, a finger, like a corner, so you can get in and do corners and stuff. Mm. Yeah, it's called a detail sander. Yeah. yeah. Can you see them holes here? Barely. Here. They're, they're small. No, nah, it's too bright, Eva. If you're talking about your nostrils, yes, we can. <laughs> you see them right through the camera. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it's still too bright. Sorry, Eva. Move it back we'll from the camera a little bit. Move it back from the camera a little bit. Move it back towards you. And take that big light off. Yeah, I'm trying to. I'm trying to, but it. Pull it out of the plug. Pull it out of the plug. No, you so won't. Yeah. Let me take a snapshot of that. You know what? <laughs> oh, but they were there. I could see them. Do you know what they are for? For air. Actually, do you know what, why you have them? No. <laughs> oh, why you have them? You have you have nostrils so you can breathe. Two eyes and no horns. <laughs> yeah, I do have nostrils. You want to see them again? Mm. No, no. <laughs> oh, you like my nostrils, just like that. Cat hairs are for free. So what am I gonna doodle now? I don't know. I just doodle a bit of. This is me doodling. This is how I do it. And Eva, Joy wants to know: Are you pigeon-toed and undergrowed? What does that mean, pigeon toed? Means your toes are pointing in towards each other. Uh huh. When you walk. No. I, I, where I'm walking. So, th this is me doodling. Right. I have no idea what I'm doing now, but I'm just doodling. You, you need to incorporate some saran wrap, and let's see what happens with that. Saran wrap? Yeah, it's the the clear stuff that you wrap food in. Glad wrap. Glad wrap. Why? Oh, it does really cool effects. No, I don't want to have such crinkled effect. Yeah, plastic wrap. Yeah. Some people call it cellophane. Yeah, green fried tomatoes. That's all I have to say about that. So, well, in, in Australia, cellophane and uh, plastic wrap are two different things. Plastic wrap's what you put around your food uh, when you're done and whatever, and cellophane is what you wrap your presents in, you see? A little bit of a difference for us. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's actually true. That's different. 
what what I don't know. I just wanted to 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 do it with some color. It doesn't become anything. This it just becomes shit. <laughs> Playing with your doodle. I have... I'm just doodling. <laughs> I said, you play with your doodle waiver. Do da dee 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 dum dee dee doo. That's the very good doodle song. Hey. There it is. Do you want a copyright strike? Because I don't. Copyrights for. No, cat. No, no. You can't be here now. And here comes the female cat. Can't I? Now I had to doodle in the dark. Doodling <laughs> <laughs> best, isn't it? <laughs> I'm being licked by a cat. <laughs> Did she lick it? Yeah. Oh, that's my female cat, all right. Yeah, good night, Joy. Good night, night, night Joy. Joy. It was lovely to see you. See you, Joy. Thanks for coming in. Hey, Eva. So, Yes. If you go and check yesterday's live, Joy came in on the voice. Oh, <gasps> she did. Yeah, she didn't stay for very long, but another nevertheless, she came in. Yeah. It was good to see her. I I had no idea what she looked like. That was the first time. Yeah. Oh, she is. I bet she looks absolutely marvelous. This did not turn out to be anything. It's it's uh, if anything, it's way too pink. Oops! Did you hear that? It wasn't me. It was it was this. <laughs> it was the cat. <laughs> <laughs> no, it it was the tube. I think I should want to. Yeah, this was a lot better. I need to do a second layer later. This is I'm not going to show this. But now is the time where I should have. Can you the take cat's trying to paint too? Move. Okay. Go lie down in your chair. Go. Go go go. Don't stay here then. Oh, I put colors everywhere here now. So, what shall I do on this then? I shall do. Do acid green. I don't have acid green. Uh, do. Uh, uh, let's see. Puce. All right, I'm going to have to call it a day too. <laughs> got a couple of things yeah. I've got to get done. So I shall bid you all good afternoon good evening good night good bye evening bye. good night i'm gonna have to go good out boy, you dog once. It's gotta go out. dr bob good to see you merry christmas yeah. if i don't see you yeah no. merry christmas dr bob thank you oh, that's cool oh yeah you got a cat in there Yeah, I don't know if I'm, where shall I put this now then so the cat's not reaching it out there. On top of your refrigerator. No, 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 no. They jump up there. Don't, don't try. That's, where the, that's where the bunnies live. Uh, yeah, them too. And the rats. We have fridge rats. Put it in the cabinet. Uh, Another one first, over your I, head there. I just have to add some uh, silver first because I had some over, left over here. It's not going to be as good, but may, maybe I can do the planet uh, thingy. No. Okay. I don't know. The best thing is you can doodle over it so you don't. I can put it there then. Don't fall down. It's forbidden. It's forbidden. You stay there. Thank you. <laughs> Eva has doodle. <laughs> I told you finger painting. I love that when I was a kid. Oh, and then. So now it's so good to have a little. Uh, 
I hate it when they do that. Do the dee dee. I have this very, very old wooden uh, glue. It's like over 10 years old, but uh, come off then. Uh, where's the piece of plier when you. Oops! Oh no! And where did the glue go? Uh, everywhere. Oops. Jay dropped out. Where's Jay? He left us to our own demise. He, he, we were doodling too much, so he left us to it. All so, right. Well, if you dropped out. I'm dropping out. You guys. Yeah. <laughs> we live. That's the best part. Did he yeah. think that I took? He got mad at me because I took over his live. Nah. I, he was getting to the point where he was about to duck out, anyways. I think. But he didn't even say bye bye. Uh, it happens. I'm sorry, Jay, if you're watching. Well, we got to doodle then. All right, well, you know, I'm fixing to hit the hay. Four o'clock yep, comes early. Doodle off. Oh. Someone oh, is coming maybe. back. Probably Jay. Yeah, I hope it's Jay. Can't see him yet, though. Then again, he's also been having a lot of troubles with his internet down there. Yeah, it might have been the net popping out. You have to clean right. your dishes too. Okay, see you. Bye bye. I'll see you. Bye. Are you trying to come back, Jay? I got glue on my hands. Well, there's nobody here. Jay, it seems to be not working so well, so I'm going to pop out too. You have a nice night. Bye-bye.